Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with a huge announcement here in regards to the meta that's going to be shifting very, very quickly here. Um, especially the super team that's coming in the way of the Annihilators. Now, make sure you guys uh, look around at your favorite content creator and non-voice, but um, there's a lot of great information now coming out for this team. They're going to completely change and reshape not just the arena meta, but really this is the next super team coming to Marvel Strike Force. Every year we have a team like this. Last year it was Secret Defenders. Um, years before it was obviously the Horseman combination. And then even before then Infinity Watch and so forth. Um, every time this team comes in, they have amazing staying power. Usable in all game modes. Which is why I want to bring this to your guys' attention. And now we also have additional confirmation that this Annihilators team is also going to be part of the next Legendary Unlock in Odin. So now it's confirmed. It's both Illuminati and Annihilators being required for this. I want to talk to you guys real quickly here why you should be looking at this team seriously because um, it can very well change how we uh, prioritize and build some of these characters. Right now, what you're seeing on screen, these are typically the go-to characters, right? Old Man Logan, Black Knight, Apocalypse, Super Scroll, and uh, forget about Dormammu there. He's just used on offense, but really, it's those four characters that are the linchpin of the arena. Even when you're looking around here, the one that's actually missing is Mephisto, and yes, even this new Annihilators team coming out, they can counter Mephisto as well. So uh, it almost even forces us to have to rethink about, you know, the priority of Dark Dimension 7. Is it going to matter if this super team is going to be able to take it down? And I want to talk to you guys quickly. Obviously, my account here is not test uh, server footage, so you won't be able to see any of these new characters. But just to reiterate the five characters, guys, um, we have uh, the new Annihilators team reworking both Silver Surfer and as well as Ultimus. As you can see, both of them uh, have not been leveled up for quite some time. However, um, although they have massive, massive stat increases, they're going to be relevant once again. Um, their kit actually remains largely unchanged. So you'll get some value for sure if you've already invested in these characters. Just know that they're not really changing too much in terms of their um, mechanics, but it's more so what they're going to be gaining from the other uh, benefits and um, passives uh, being granted by the other three members, right? The other three members being... Once again, I don't have the test for uh, server footage, but it's Endgame Thanos. He's going to be available. We got Gore, the God Slayer, and as well as we have Gladiator. Um, again, none of those characters being added. And don't forget, Ares is also coming out next week too, and he's going to be an absolute game changer too. So everything that we know right now with Marvel Strike Force is changing right before our eyes. Every time there's this super team comes into the game, everything that we are engaged in, um, the meta, it completely gets shifted over. I really appreciate that because um, it's exciting for players, exciting for the community. And as well, uh, this is an opportunity for us to really theorycraft once again. The arena meta is going to shift right before our eyes and everything we know uh, is going to be um, pretty much brand new and fresh. So I do want to point that out. Guys, why is this team going to be so good? Well, uh, it's because of the value they're going to be having and as well also being able to counter each and every single one of the meta tunes that we have. For example, um, you know, again, I don't have Gladiator shown here, but um, he directly counters Mephisto. Uh, I think it's in his uh, in his actual passive ability where um, allies cannot gain exposure. He's going to prevent allies, excuse me, the enemies from gaining um you know, uh, impactful uh, influences against a speed meter. He's going to protect against that exposure against Mephisto, and enemies can't even fill up their uh, their uh, speed bar because of that. So Mephisto is actually going to be um, directly countered uh, with the normal tune in Gladiator, uh, only in the arena meta. But they're still going to have value uh, in other game modes, which is why it's so scary, right? We have, you know, uh, Gore, again, the God Butcher, God Slayer. He's going to be actually counting as a symbiote character, but his direct counter is going to be against Old Man Logan, one of the best legendary characters right now in the game because uh, he's going to prevent his allies from gaining bleed. Uh, Old Man Logan shines with bleeds. He also lowers uh, uh, the assist rate, so that completely renders Old Man Logan's value um, pretty pretty nominal at that point, right? Because that's what he's known for, the assisted attacks, the bleeds. Um, and as well, uh, we also have Thanos Endgame. When he comes in, He's going to be reducing the positive uh, effect durations, including safeguard. That completely shuts down a lot of uh, ally abilities right now that make um, your team prominent because of the buffs. Um, he's going to destroy that. He's going to be generating ability energy for enemies that are attacking exposure to enemies. And on top of that, um, the Annihilator's team cannot gain trauma. So not being able to gain trauma against characters like, you know, um, notable characters like S Super Scroll, uh, uh, Apocalypse, 
Uh, characters like Old Man Logan that thrives on that trauma. This, that's why this team, um, they're going to be a, a beautiful kind of, um, you know, switch uh, switchblade knife that's just going to work in so many different situations. You know, so Arena is going to change um, uh, uh, predominantly. I think this is going to impact War. It's going to impact Crucible. And heck, I would even start to rethink how um, the Dark Dimension is going to look because um, these characters, the majority of them are actually cosmic characters, if I'm not mistaken. So um, that that's going to be a nice shift for us uh, having value once again. But remember, like I said, guys, I think um, I, I don't think Apocalypse and Super Scroll are dead. The same with Mephisto. I do think that characters like Silver Surfer and as well as Ultimus, they likely will get subbed out. Usually, these reworked characters are the ones that are uh, getting the short end of the stick. But when you have characters that directly counter the meta, um, that's why now the value is going to be funneled into, obviously, these characters that are more impactful um, that actually could be more powerful than some of these mythic ones that I've mentioned. So just uh, food for thought, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But remember, Ares is also coming out next week too. So it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to get slotted in uh, to all this kind of um you know opportunity here for theory crafting and seeing what the top meta is going to be i'll tell you what i am excited about though um it's gonna change everything for for arena i think um i think that some of the ones that have been in the top five top ten they're gonna have to start using um obviously some opportunities here of which synergies work the defenses and the uh, the offensive options are 100 percent going to change um and like i said before folks that have invested this is why we always want to take advantage of you know the power cores and the arena rankings as much as we can because when it shifts like this we're gonna see a lot of up and downs here and now that they've also removed the uh the counter for attacking um this is gonna provide a huge opportunity for folks that want to climb arena versus those that are less engaged that don't really care and um like again i highly preach this all the time but um you know i'm well over fifteen thousand uh, k in power core safe because when you're doing this well in the top 10 top 20 uh you're amassing power cores that are going to give us an opportunity for getting some of these character unlocks so yeah um that's exciting times aries is coming out next week so i suspect uh this new annihilators team it, they should be coming out shortly afterwards heck we might even see an introduction of one of these characters next week in the rest star orb opening but regardless i'm glad they're not going to be uh you know vaulted i'm not i'm glad they're not uh, i don't think they're mythic characters yet the one thing to be mindful of too i just want to point out Endgame Thanos is going to probably be the most important character. He does unfortunately use the Osmium unique as well. So if you guys are having this opportunity, make sure you start saving up. Uh, he's going to be completely game changing on top of this new Annihilators team. I definitely think there still will be some subs with Super Scroll and Apocalypse in play here, but uh, it's crazy to see guys. This is a huge, huge update. Super excited for this team. I can't wait to see how they're going to look and basically replacing um, the mantle of the Secret Defenders and as well as the Mephisto Apocalypse Scroll era in Arena. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.